Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Avni Goyal and today we are going to learn about 7 digit numbers. So, till date we have learned about 5 digit numbers that is to the number 99,999. In today's session our aim is to learn numbers that are 6 digits and 7 digits. So let's get started. As we all know in a number, the value of a particular number depends on its place value. So, how you want to see? Let's have an example here. Here, I have the number. Okay, so before that, we need, we need to learn the place values. So, for that, here you see a chart I've drawn. Yes? So, um, we, we know numbers till 10,000, isn't it? What is after that? There's one fact I need to share with you. Each higher digit from the, see, starting from the right side, each higher digit, that is each digit on the left, is uh, 10 times higher the other one. So, yes. So, um, I was telling you, starting from once, each higher place is 10 times the last place, okay? So here it is seen in the figure, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, after the ten thousands comes the lakhs and the ten lakhs, okay? And now each higher digit is ten times the last one. So into ten, into ten, into ten, same way, going on. Now I have a number here, um, let's say the number... 9,83,400 Okay, so in this number, I want you to tell me the value of the number 8. So, which is this place? This is the 10,000th place, isn't it? This place is the 10,000th place, right? Right? This is the ten thousands place. So what we know is um once is this tens hundreds thousands I'm writing it up ten thousands one lakh and Finally is the 10 lakh. Okay. Um, give me a second. I'll just make this fine. So, these are the values of the number. Right? So, 8 into 10,000. So, 10,000 is this number. So, we write it as into 10,000. Okay? That is equal to 80,000. So the value of the number 8 in 9,83,400 is 80,000. Okay? So this is a simple way of finding the values of a number. Now, here I have a task for us. Count by 1 lakh to find the next 3 numbers starting from 83 lakh and 20,000. So, which is the 1 lakh position in this number? This is the 1 lakh position in this number. So, to find it, we add 1 lakh, that is 1, to this particular place, right? So, first number will be 84 lakh, 20,000, isn't it? Because 3 plus 1 is 4 and this is where 4 comes. Okay? In the last position. Next number will be, can you tell me? Yes, it's 85 lakh. Next is the 85 lakh, 20,000. And next is finally the 86 lakh, 20,000. If you have any doubts, please be sure to ask me in the comments down below 
I'll surely come back with an answer for you. So this is how we solve it. Isn't that really easy? More than it looks, right? Now, the next topic we are going to learn about is the Indian and International Systems. Okay? When we write a number in the standard form, what is the standard form? A standard form is a way of writing a number using the digits. Okay? So, this is the standard form of this number. This can also be written in words, also can be written in its expanded form. So, this is the standard form of a number. So, in a standard form, you've noticed these commas. If you look everywhere, there are a few commas. Why are these commas put? These commas separate the number into parts called periods. Okay? Now, why do we need periods? How do they help us? Periods help us read a number easily. Now, let's take an example. Um, give me a second. I'll be back with this chapter of notes. Yes, so we were talking about the international and Indian system. So, I was talking about periods, right? So, here I have an example. I have the number 120863, right? So, this is the one without periods, okay, the top one. So, is it easy to read it? No, right? You will take time figuring it out how to read it. But if you look here, isn't that easy? You know that this is the last period. So we can easily say that this is 1 lakh, this is a thousand period, so 1 lakh 20,863. Wasn't that easy? More than this one though. Now here, um, I have the Indian and International numbering system. Why are there two numbering systems? Must be wondering, right? So there are two, num two types of numbering systems. One is the one used in Indian countries and such countries around such as Nepal, etc. Nepal, Bangladesh, etc. And one is the international system where um, which is seen in the US, etc. Uh, Australia and Europe, other such countries. Yes? So, the Indian system goes like this. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs and crores. Right? Now, how does the international numbering system go? It goes as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. Okay? So, what do you think? Which are the periods in these both? So, this is one period. And this particular period is called the ones period. Okay, this particular period is nothing but the ones period. Now, this is a period and this is a thousands period. Now, this is a period and, um, I'm sorry. This is a period and this is the lakhs period. And so on, there are many periods. Okay. So, how does this go? This is again the ones periods. Now, the thousand periods, there are three numbers. Okay? How here, there are only two. In the international numbering system, there are three. And this is the millions plus. Okay? After millions, ten millions comes the hundred millions and so on. It keeps going. Okay, so this is the Indian and this is the international. So, how can we write numbers? How is it different? Only the periods are different. The number and the pronunciation changes. Okay, so let's take this number. Um, let's say 9, 7... 1, 2, 0, 8, 6, 3, in both the places, 9, 7, 1, 2, 0, 8, 6, 3. 
Now where are the commas put? In the period lines. So this is one period line, this is one period line and this is one period line. Same here, one period line, one period line. There are. So if you look in the same number, in the Indian numbering system there are three periods while in the international numbering system there are only two commas. Okay. Now, how do we read it? Okay. This is this number is read as nine crores seventy one lakhs twenty thousand eight hundred and sixty three. Now we read the number and then the period name, the number and the period name. But in the ones period we don't read it like that. We read the original number and stop it. So in the same way, ninety seven million hundred and twenty thousand. 863. So this is how it works. Wasn't that simple? Now, next what we are going to learn about is how to arrange numbers in an order. So to learn that, I'll be back with some facts. Wait here. Don't go anywhere. So I'm back. We were talking about arranging numbers in an order. So isn't it easy to compare two numbers if they have different number of digits? Like if I tell you compare 623 and 1623. It's obvious you can easily tell that 1623 is larger. Why? Because this has more number of digits and thus it's easy to compare. But what if they have same number, same digits? Like what if I say the number we have here is 99,000. 235 to be compared to be compared with 69,770 and 741 okay so let's put the periods yeah so now this is a little difficult right so how do we do this is what I'm going to show you now. So to do this, we start from our left end. So which is our left end? This is our left side. So from the left side, whichever is larger, you see. So if this is larger, in these two you see that this 9 is larger than 6, right? So you can obviously tell that this is larger. I'm sorry. This is larger than this number, right? So now, um, what if I replace these two? What if I write, what if I write 6 here and 9 here and we change this to 8? Now how is this supposed to be done? So to do this, if we see that the number in the left side is the same. So 9 and 9 are same, we move to the right digit. So 8 and 6. And this which is bigger, the top one again. So we can say that this is bigger again. Right? So, wasn't that easy? Simpler more than it looks like, right? And now the last topic we are going to learn in today's class is Roman numerals. So, I'll be back with some numeral digits. Okay? Just wait for a second. So, we were talking about Roman numerals. What are these Roman numerals? We have heard about the Romans so many times. This world derives from the Roman, the Roman numerals. So, the Roman numerals consists of seven letters through which we can form numbers. So, what are these seven letters? They are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. And each number has a different, each letter has a different value and these seven letters can help forming numbers. Okay, so the I stands for 1, V stands for 5, X stands for 10, L stands for 50, C stands for 100, D stands for 500 and M stands for 1000. It's very important to know the values of the numbers. So if you have a look here, it's really easy to understand. So rules... There are few rules in 
while writing Roman numerals. What are they? Number one is repeat. Repetition refers to addition. I have an example here, like I plus I I I. Now, if I've written I three times, okay? If I've written I three times, that is equal to one plus one plus one because this is a one. So one plus one plus one. That is what it says. Repetition refers to addition. So one plus one plus one that is equal to three. Now the second point says letters cannot be repeated more than thrice. So if I write four like this, this is wrong. Okay. Now the letters V, L, and D can never be repeated. An easy way to remember is each number starting from five, that is five fifty five hundred, can never be repeated. The next is. Um, this is the rule that I would like to share with you all. If a smaller number comes after a bigger number, it refers to addition. And if a smaller uh, letter comes before a uh, bigger number, it refers to subtraction. So, let's have a look. If I said something wrong, I'll repeat it for you. If a smaller number comes after a bigger number, it refers to addition. And if a bigger number comes, if a bigger number comes after a smaller number, it refers to subtraction. Let's take an example. Here I'm gonna write i and v. So here, which comes after the bigger number. So when the bigger number is on the right end, that refers to subtraction. So we subtract the bigger number, the smaller number from the bigger number. So 1 minus 5 minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is equal to 4. Same way, if we flip these two, so now a smaller number is on the right end. So what do we do? We add. So 5 plus 1 is what we do. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So wasn't that easy? Now that is one thing and now this is really shocking. The letters V and L can never be subtracted. Okay? Remember that while writing your numbers. Now these rules help you write your Roman numbers. Now I have a fact for you that the Indian system of numeration was developed in India in the 100 BC, that is 100 before Christ, and was spread to other countries by the Arabs. Hence, it's named the Hindu Arabic numeral system. Okay? So, this number system is also known as Hindu Arabic numeric system. So, hope you guys understood and enjoyed this lesson. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Comment down below what you want me to teach next. And please tell me if you have any doubts. I am sure to come back and reply to you. Goodbye.